Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about the basics, what exactly is ecological succession, how it takes place and what exactly happens when the species uh, invades a particular area and why would that particular species would get replaced. Now here we will take up the steps of ecological succession irrespective of which place that is. That means whether it is taking place in a dry condition or in water body. The first, play, uh, first step is called nudation. Nudation is formation of the area where the succession is going to take place. Now that area can be the lava which cools down or a forest which has been destroyed because of fire. So any area <coughs> that is formed, that means now the area is available for the succession to start. Second step is invasion. The living organism has to invade this area. So this is entry of the pioneer species. And what exactly enters here are either seeds or spores. So entry of seeds or spores of that pioneer species would be the ones which would first enter this place. What will happen when they enter here? They will establish themselves, they will start to reproduce. That is known as aggregation. Aggregation means adaptation and reproduction of the species which has invaded. When the organisms of a particular species are living in a particular area, then there is competition. So there would be competition amongst the members of the same species. Next, after they compete, they reproduce, they will bring about the changes. Changes in the ecosystem. These are the same changes which will result into making the environment unsuitable, unfit for the existing species, but more suitable for the next one. So the changes, the changes become unsuitable for existing species, but more suitable for the next. So now if these changes are brought about, that means the conditions are going to change. Next species will invade. That means from step number five, it will again go to step number two. So next species invades in the form of spores or seeds. That species adapts itself, reproduces, aggregates, then there would be competition among, amongst themselves. Then they will bring about the changes which will become unsuitable for them but suitable for the next. Then the third species will invade. So this cycle will go on till the last step is reached which is called climax community. Climax community is the one which is able to tolerate, withstand all the changes brought about by the other species, the ones which previously existed and by themselves. Tolerate 
changes brought about by themselves and other species. Such a species will be termed as the climax species or climax communities. So these are the steps and from 5 to 2 this is going to go on and on and on till the climax community is reached. So whether we talk about hydrosphere, hydrage condition, xeric condition, the same steps will be followed. So if we take the example of say zero sear, that means succession taking place in a dry area where there is no soil, no organic matter, no water. And the area that we take is say cold lava. This is the place where the succession is taking place. So what is going to happen first? First is going to be the formation of the place where succession is going to take place. So let us say this is step number one. The lava has cooled down, nudation has taken place, the place is formed. Now there would be invasion. So invasion in case of this particular place would be of pioneer species will be crustos lichens. Crustose lichens, they grow or they can grow in areas which are without water, soil and organic matter. So this place is perfect for crustose lichens. What will happen? They grow there, they have invaded, they reproduce, they aggregate and now there will be changes. What are the changes brought about by the crustose lichens? Dead lichens, crustose lichens result into organic matter. Their waste breaks the lava and soil formation takes place. So here the change is soil formation starts and organic matter accumulates. This change is unsuitable for the pioneer species. So now they are replaced by folios lichens. Folios lichens can live in little bit of soil also. They will be replaced by fruticose lichens. They can live in little more soil. When they die, Organic matter gets added, more soil formation, replaced by bryophytes. Bryophytes bring about changes, more soil formation, more organic matter, replaced by eridophytes. And after this, it is going to be the uh, evolved, more evolved plants like gymnosperms and and geosperms and they normally form the climax community. If we are talking about these tall trees, ultimately forest is formed because of these trees. Which kind of forest would depend upon the rainfall? If there is plenty of rainfall or too much of rainfall, it may result into formation of rainforest, evergreen forest, sometimes deciduous forest. So this depends on the type of the rainfall. But climax communities form. So in case of a zero shear, that means where there is nothing, no water. If succession starts here, then the pioneer community is crustose lichen followed by folios lichens, then fruticose, then bryophytes, teridophytes and 
gymnosperm and geosperm. So these are the climax communities. So pioneer is crustose, climax is forest, angiosperm, gymnosperms, and all these intermediate communities are called the serial communities. So these are serial communities and this is the climax community. So this is how succession takes place if it has to take place in a dry xeric condition. So we know the steps also and now we know the pioneer species, the serial species and the climax community in a zero sphere. In the next part we will talk about hydrosphere.